Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Man, um, so as y'all can see, I'm back in my regular setup. I'm so uh, uh, happy to, you know, have made it to Friday, y'all. Uh, you know, the, the beginning of the week and basically most of last week we had, were really, really tough, man. You know, I started off uh, Lupus Awareness Month really strongly. And, you know, as y'all know, man, lupus is an unpredictable disease. And so I'm just, I'm so very grateful to, you know, to make it to Friday and to, you know, have my week in a lot better than what it started. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it was kind of rough this week, y'all. How, how was y'all's week? How was y'all's week, man? Because, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things that were going on. I mean, you know, the, the week started off. I was supposed to be, you know, getting other stuff done. I had doctor's appointments. I had, you know, dialysis and just a whole host of, of content that I was supposed to have go on. And then, boom, you know, my body was just like, oh, nope, I can't take it anymore. And, uh, you know, I ended up going to uh, an emergency room uh, that's, you know, near my house. And I thought that, you know, it would be uh, like something like a simple fix or something like that. And man, it was anything but that. <laughs> like it was anything but that. Like they came into the room and they were like, look, uh, Mr. Hunter, we got stuff that we need to be able to test you for. And we don't have the capacity to do that. We are gonna have to transfer you to a whole big old hospital. And I was like, oh crap, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I ended up being transferred to Memorial Herman in Sugarland, which is far, far south. If, if if you're familiar with Houston and the Greater Houston area, and you know, I basically you know spent three days, four days there. Um, and man, let me tell y'all something. Tell y'all something. I need to dispel the myth, right? Like. From now on, I need I need anybody that comes to visit or that calls to check up on somebody in the hospital. The hospital, like I need y'all to hear me and hear me clearly. All right, when y'all be like, "Well, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and let you get some rest." You know, I know you just up there, you're tired. You know, now is the time for you to rest, CJ. Now is the time for you to you know get you some sleep. And it it's just like, let me tell y'all something. And all of my loopies, and anybody out there that has ever been sick with a chronic illness that keeps you in and out of the hospital, like you can relate to this. Hey, y'all, listen. You listening? You listening? You listening? Hey, we do not get sleep in the hospital. All right. Like I'm telling y'all, sleep is not an option in the hospital. So if you're there with us, it, you know, you're not making us tired. You know, if if we, you know, we may not feel like being on the phone, but trust me, being on the phone is not tearing us, uh, you know, tearing us up or wearing us out or making us tired. Like, because listen, people are coming in and out of your room 24 seven, even at night. Like the hospital is not where you get rest. The hospital is make they, where they help you feel better. They may manage your pain. They may get rid of some of the symptoms, find the root cause of what you're going through, etc. But rest? No. Nah. No. Nah. No. Nah. Uh, you're not getting no rest in the hospital. So you might as well go ahead and hang that up, right? Like, you know, I, I got out of the hospital yesterday, which was like Thursday. And let me tell you something. Like, I, I've already realized, like, how much sleep I needed as of yesterday and still need to rest up to today because I got, you know, other things that I need to get done. But, you know, it's it's a thing, y'all. Like, it really is a thing. You know, I'll be doing, uh, you know, longer videos that'll be coming out next week about, you know, there's just more detail as to what has happened, you know, what's transpired. I'm still gonna be giving more and more education about lupus and how the disease, you know, affects not only myself, but people like me, our families, friends, etc. I still have 
uh, episodes of the Wellness Corner podcast that's supposed to come out. Um, and Lupus After Dark with my sister Janae and my brother uh, uh, DJ Cobb Alexander. You see, like you see all of those things, like all of the things that you can have planned and, and you got them solidified in notes and different stuff like that. And because, you know, this disease is unpredictable, y'all, it's always going to be, I always got to be able to pivot. I always got to be able to keep my head on a swivel and, and make adjustments and, and adaptations. But anyway, um, man, I hope y'all have a fantastic end to y'all's week, man. Um, for anybody and everybody that called me or texted me or DM'd me or what, however you got in contact with me, even... Those of you that came, that came to see me, man, I love you. I appreciate you. Y'all y'all have no idea how much, you know, y'all support means to me. And y'all have a fantastic fucking day. Peace.